Good morning on this Monday. I'm Nikki Stanzion. And I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico Style. James Douglas Show in the house. All right. So excited to have him here. <laughs> I know. Can't it livens up the kitchen. It really does. Right? Yeah. Music like and good food. It's going to be great. Perfect combination. Yeah. Good looks, good food, <laughs> good music. It's all good. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're ready that. to start the week just right. Yes. Did you have a good weekend? I had a great weekend. Me too. Yeah. yeah, I had a good weekend. We, with get, you. we had to hang out a little bit. We so that did. was good. And I read something over the weekend. I don't know if you read this yet or not. What? About Tiger Elon. No. She's dating now. No. Okay. So she's dating this Break guy. The news. This is the news. Okay. This is crazy to me. Okay. Elon is now dating the guy, and I can't think of his name right now, but he is Rachel. The mistress number one, Tiger's mistress number one, her ex-boyfriend. <gasps> no. Yes. So she's Revenge. dating the ex-boyfriend of a girl her ex-husband cheated right. on her with. At the same time. So no. while, yes, while Rachel, mistress number one, was having relations with Tiger. Yes. While he was still with Elon, she was dating the guy that Elon's now dating. Sweet revenge. Yeah, I don't know. Wow. But I, you know what I think better yeah. revenge would be? Kind of creepy, right? Isn't that weird? <laughs> yes. That's what I thought too. Small I think world. the best revenge though would be for her to, to date like a better golfer than Tiger now. Oh, He's kind of going down. He is. And then to show up by his side and be like, woohoo. I know. Well, I'll tell you somebody yeah. else who's having some troubles, <laughs> Casey Anthony. Mm. Now, she is a free woman. Yeah. The Florida mother was released from the Orange County Jail shortly after midnight Sunday and was taken to an undisclosed location. But, you know, we say free, but I don't know yeah. if she's completely really free. No, almost two weeks ago she got found, of course, not guilty of first-degree mother murder in the death of her two-year-old daughter, Kaylee, and she has remained in prison on four counts of lying to police, but now she's out and was given credit to time already served, and yeah. even though she's out, she's in hiding right now. Right, you know, exactly. We don't know where she is, and well, of course, why, death threats everywhere. So that's why I don't think she's really free. No. I mean, yeah, technically, as far as the law is concerned, she is, but she's going to live a very different difficult life. Right. In fact, I know I've been hearing talks of her wanting to change her name legally. Mm -hmm. She wants to get major plastic surgery. They were right. talking about all the things they could do to make her look completely unrecognizable. Mm -hmm. So really, at the end of the day, I still think she's getting some punishment yeah. for the possibility but of... I did have a frightening thought. What? I was like thinking, you know, they've shipped her off somewhere. They said maybe she'd flown out to an undisclosed location. I right. hope it's not like on some beach. And You know what I mean? I know. Like, you think, Having like, a great what life now. what she's doing right now? Sipping really margaritas <laughs> at the ocean. She doesn't really so, deserve that yeah. much. Now, Interesting. more big news out of Hollywood this weekend on Love. Jennifer Lopez and Mark Anthony are calling it quits after seven years of marriage and two children. Apparently, Mark is a control freak. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and we've all thought that would be her, right? But right. despite their divorce, the reality show will still go on. Okay, Viva the Chosen is actually in production. The two remain committed to this project. Even though they're getting a divorce, the show will go on the road to Latin America to discover talented musicians and dancers. It is really getting a lot of hype, the show, and mm -hmm. I feel like we got to see a really great side of J-Lo throughout the Idol season. Right. But this, I mean, on one hand, I didn't think it would last in the first place, but now that it's gotten as far as it did, I didn't think it would end. Yeah, you know I mean, what I mean? That's, what I, that's what I was thinking too. I was yeah. like, there must be just something special there. Exactly. Because I think a lot of people thought J-Lo, Mark Anthony, maybe didn't really her, need to see the two of them together. But. Maybe her love did cost a thing after all. Maybe. Her love. But I'm bummed, I had to say it. So now, okay, right. now here's some very expected news. Yes. As we all expected, the final Harry Potter flick blew its weekend box office competition out of the water. Mm -hmm. The Deathly Hallows Part okay. 2 raked in a whopping $475 million around the world. The yeah, and they're on the track to a billion dollars. This film, crazy. Other films in the theaters this weekend, Transformers, Dark of the Moon, knocked into second place by Mr. Potter, and Horrible Bosses slipping to third place, Zookeeper and Cars 2 around again the top five. Yeah, so I didn't get to the movies this no. weekend, but we did at least get to go to some uh, fun restaurants. We actually got to try out Hayashi, which was on the show. Wasn't it amazing? It was very good. The sushi, mm, some of the best. It some of the best. Really, really good. Really, and like we said when they were on the show, they, they are so on top of making sure they only mm. use the freshest possible fish, and really good service. We had a good time. We so did. Highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. Now, okay, you may remember last week when actor Stephen Michael Casada was here, he mentioned special acting classes that he'd be teaching right here in Albuquerque for free. Right. And if you are a thespian who wants to learn from work, a working actor on an award-winning hit TV show, which, by the way, I premiered know. last night, was really good, you can participate in Steven's acting workshops this week from July 20th to, to July 22nd. I got a lot of emails, actually, about that, wondering when it was. So, yeah, yes. definitely check it out. It's good great. Stuff. Well, classes are going to be held, if you didn't know, at Triple Threat. That's going to be from 3 to 6, so a full three-hour workshop. And for more information to participate, mm -hmm. just call 505-220-3665. All the information is below us. 
and uh, really, I mean, certainly worthwhile. Like Kristen said, I mean, to get acting lessons for free mm -hmm. locally from somebody who's on an award-winning show, I mean, that's yeah. that's really Good valuable. Mm -hmm. And it's so nice of him to do too. Amazing, yeah, it's great. He's, He's always, always giving doing back. so much yeah, right? for the community. It he is, is. Great. and that's and, and that's and we'll talk more with the James Douglas show, but there, of course, the house band for oh, the yeah. after, after party, mm -hmm. which is his show here. So really, he really does a lot. He gives back, and of course, last night. I, I, I don't give anything away because I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I know. But I heard some really interesting things. It's good. I, oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Okay. So catch up if you haven't and then maybe do the wait thing and do like all three back like to back. Said. Like wait three weeks. I think it's, it might be a little better that way because it just leaves you hanging in the end. Yeah, and then you don't it's have like, to wait. Rrr. Wait Those cliffhangers are rough. Yeah. Well, here, okay, here's a cliffhanger. What can we expect with weather? I woke up this morning and it was warm. <laughs> Usually the mornings right, are not really this warm. hot. So is it's it going warm. to stay like this? Um, yeah, it's just going to get hotter through the day and not much of a cliffhanger. More of the same. Here's a look at the forecast.